guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've got makeup all over my hand. That must mean today is a makeup tutorial, which as you can tell by the title it is. Um, so I wore this look for my Spooky Box Club unboxing of Dead Cute Box and it was a really 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 fun look and I really enjoyed doing it so I thought I'd film it for you guys um, in case you're interested. Um, obviously you could switch up the colours, do whatever combination you want. Um, this look was inspired by Cat from D. Um, I don't remember where I saw it, but she was at some kind of event and she had two different coloured eyeshadows. I think one was grey and one was navy blue and it looked so fucking cool so I thought I'd give it a go with these pastel colours plus I just wanted to play around with makeup so it's really fun. Um, gems on the eyes like a massive trend at the moment so I thought I'd incorporate that into this pastel gloss look. This is a recreation of the original makeup look so it's a little bit different purely because I can't remember which eyeshadows I used so apologies about that but it's pretty much the same for everything anyway so yep. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do my well, I'm going to film my face and my brows, but I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to fast forward through it because I've talked through it in other tutorials. So if you're interested in watching the face routine, then I will link below. I think it's in my pin-up video, so I'll link that below if you want to see that. I keep seeing in my background these pictures of these serial killers. And holy shit, you guys are not fans of these pictures. But okay. I might do like a, if I ever get around to it, like a frequently asked questions video. I'm gonna put these babies in there. Um, yeah, I need to stop rambling. You guys can enjoy the, enjoy, <laughs> you guys can enjoy the tutorial. Yeah. Let's just cut to my face ready to do some makeup. Some eyebrows, blah blah blah. Future Blaze has already explained this. Gotta have to try and work out magic of film. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna stop talking and get right into it. Sorry if you can hear noises and stuff in the background. I think all of my housemates are home. None of us have uni today, so it's so annoying. Oh, did I just get eyeshadow on me? No, I'm okay. <sighs> okay, so why am I preparing myself? Okay, taking the Naked Smoky palette and just the brush that comes. And I'm going to use 13 all over the lid so it will kind of can blend into something. I have already primed my eyes with um, concealer, um, and it's already been set with a powder, so we are good to go. Which I did what colour on. I do have a picture of the prints on my iPad, but it's about to die, so that's really helpful. Okay. So this was my bad eye, this was my blue eye. Okay, so we'll start with the blue eye. Okay, so I kind of messed up a little bit starting this tutorial, so if I as a bluish tint. Ignore that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my real techniques. 
203 fluffy brush and I'm taking this blue shade from the Morphe 35S palette and I'm going to take some of that, not a huge amount, on the brush and I'm going to start blending that into the crease. I'm going, if this is a kind of cut crease type look, that would be good. Just keep layering that on, focusing more of the colour to just above the crease and then it will fade as it goes out. I'm then going to bring that under the eye too. And then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to take this darker blue shade here and again only taking a little bit and concentrating that in the crease area. Real Techniques Face Shadow Brush, no, 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 shading brush, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of this really dark blue here. It's a little bit shimmering, but I'm not too bothered because there's going to be a lot of things going on in this look. Um, and I'm just going to layer that over the crease again just to really darken that. Then I'm going to take that same dark blue colour. So that is our blue, that's the shadows of our blue eye done. Then I'm going to clean my brush off and we'll go on to the other eye. Okay, for the purple eye, again, I'm taking the same palette and I'm going to be using this light purple shade here and taking the Real Techniques 203 and I'm going to start blending that above my crease. line again it's basically the same well it's not basically it is the same idea as the blue eye but just with different colors start off with the lightest color add in another darker color and then a final dark color over the top of that to create this <laughs> whatever this is I don't know um, so for my darker color I'm gonna take this bright purple here it doesn't show up as well on camera, but it is like a, a royal purple, I would say. Start with a small amount, pop that in the crease and build it up. work as well together as the blue but the eye. Pop that under the, <laughs> under the crease, under the lower lash line. I'm going to take a really light purple, brush some of the excess off. I think I might use a different purple last time. Um, so this is a, it has no brand or anything, but it's 120 shadows in a palette and I'm going to take this end purple, it's a really low really purple. You can get these from like BH Cosmetics and stuff. Oh. And I'm going to blend that all together. Make a nice loop. 
finish on outer bits. Okay, that's enough for the shadows, I'll probably ruin it. Then I'm going to take the shading brush again, same brush, I don't know where to check. And I'm going to take this white from the Morphe palette and that's going to go on the lid. We're using a coloured eyeliner and I want it really super vibrant. Okay, so we are going to take our wherever it's gone um, Real Techniques 202 eyeliner or brow brush, but I need to clean mine. Okay, once you have a nice clean brush, the liquid lipsticks I will be using for my eyeliner are these two, but obviously on opposing eyes. Opposing, alternate, different, opposite, I'm a thesaurus. <laughs> um, I'm using the MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquers and using the shade Symphonic and Iced. So we'll start with the blue eye, so I'm taking the purple one which is Symphonic and I'm just going to pop some onto my hand like so and then I'm going to work quick because it's dry kind of quick and I'm literally just taking it onto the brush and doing my Wait, eyeliner as I normally would. Now I will take my other liquid lipstick in iced. Again, just do the same thing, just on the other eye with a different colour. some mascara on this is more out of your comfort zone than you would ever go for and this on its own is explorative enough I feel free to stop here because it's got to get even weirder um, I'm going to take NYX's white liquid liner and I'm going to put that I'm going to just essentially paint my lower lashes so they are white by It's Lately Makeup, who I will link below if you haven't heard of her. I don't know how you haven't heard of her, she's freaking amazing. Um, it's just really cool and I've been doing it lately a lot with just black eyeliner, light lashes and green lips. It's like, cool. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is add some gems under the eye, which is quite a big trend at the moment and I thought they're just pretty cute. So I have this sheet of gems, which I got from The Works, which is like my local craft store. They were 50p for a sheet, so some of those up, they already come with an adhesive on the back, so all I do is get it and just pop it on wherever I want it. Um, if you have gems without adhesive, just simple lash glue would do, or maybe if you want extra security, they're going to stay on. Pop some lash glue on, but I've worn these four times now. Not the same ones, different ones each time, and I haven't had any problems with them coming off. I probably just jinxed it. <laughs> there we go. My little gems. It's a little spider friend. I don't remember which side I did this on. I guess purple, I think it was purple. Um, so I'm taking, this is Makeup Gallery's Pro Liquid Liner. This is literally from the pound store. Um, but the brush is really, oh, where am I going? The brush is really fine, so it's really good for these type of things. Finish off the look. I'm going to do black lips. So I'm using Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches.
Schlüssel. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, I'll link all the products you used down below. If you have any more questions, then please feel free to ask. Love interacting with you guys, but unfortunately, there's not that many comments, so I can't interact that much. But people who do, <laughs> I do always respond. Um, oh, I've just got some makeup in my car. Oh. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.